In today's video, we're going to create this type on text effect in After Effects. So there are two ways you can create this. One is the simplest way, which is just revealing the text like this. But the second one is moving the text position while revealing the text. So let's create a new composition and hit OK. Type in the text. I'll write this. Do small things in a great way and center it to the composition and make it smaller like this go to the effects and presets and type in typewriter and you're gonna drag and drop this make sure your time indicator is set at the beginning of the keyframe and drag and drop it so it will start from that point so it is revealing like this so this is the first animation which is very simple but it does not look very realistic all right so let's hit u on the keyboard to show up the keyframes and i'm gonna select these keyframes and i'm gonna move it to around one second for now okay let's go and click on this animate and add a position and we're gonna animate the position of this okay so we're gonna animate from here so we're gonna we're, we're gonna go from here okay so let's move this to the center so let's turn on this title action safe so that we can know the center and we're gonna move it from here so set a keyframe and go to this keyframe exactly at this keyframe and we're gonna set this to zero so what we have is this and hit U and I'm gonna align the keyframe exactly at the position of this. Okay. All right, so once you play it back, you have this. So I think this is too long. So I'm gonna select both this last keyframe and drag it closer to the first keyframe so that we have a faster animation like this. So if you wanna make it slower again, you can just drag and reposition this keyframe so so I'll stick with that and right now we are good with the animation but we're gonna add that little underscore here okay so I'm gonna duplicate this control D to duplicate it and shut the eye off for the first layer and I'm gonna change this to underscore and hit U on the keyboard to, to reveal the keyframes and I'm gonna delete this these animators and what I have is the just the underscore okay so I'm gonna add a position just this and turn on this turn on the first layer and go to the point where the animation starts and go one frame and we're gonna move the underscore this so you can't see anything right now so we're gonna hide these handles by hitting Control shift and H on the keyboard so that it hides it and we're gonna position this to somewhere here okay so set a keyframe here okay and we're gonna move somewhere here at the last keyframe and we're gonna drag this away somewhere here so if you play it back now so we have this so we're gonna go back to the first keyframe and we're gonna go here at this first keyframe and move this somewhere here okay so it starts from here like this and there it ends okay right now we we have the position in place but one thing i added was added an opacity animation so that the the underscore blinks okay so hit t on the keyboard shift and t on the keyboard that brings up the opacity which is this and we're gonna set the opacity here and we're gonna go page down one two three four five and we're gonna set this to zero and make sure select both these keyframes right click and toggle whole keyframe so we're gonna go from 100 to zero like this and we're gonna do the same one two three four five 
and we're going to set it back to 100. So 100, 0, 100 again, and we're going to do the same. 5, and we're going to copy this Control C, Control V. And we're going to copy again this Control C and Control V to paste it. And I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and do the same again. Okay. So if I play it back now, you can see some blinking going on here. Before the start of the text animation, I want this to blink as well. So I'm going to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, page up 5 times and set this to 0 and toggle hold keyframes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 0 again. Okay. Make sure these are toggle, these are hold keyframes. So if I play it back, so maybe I'm going to do some more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a 0. And toggle hold keyframes. So it blinks and it goes like that. Very nice. All right, now that we have the animation here, let's add an adjustment layer, layer, new and adjustment layer. And I'm going to type in bat TV, okay? So I'm going to drag and drop this bat TV old, like this. And you have this screen effect. And what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna zero out this wave height and so it looks like a screen and one more thing I added was go to the effects and presets and type in VR and drag and drop this VR glow like this and that has a glow and you can play with this glowness threshold and brightness as well something like this okay if I play it back now. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you haven't watched this video, go watch it. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.